So I wanted to do a quick video on how to migrate data from Windows Explorer into SolidWorks PDM. Here's a couple of things you should uh, look at, but uh, it's pretty simple. We're going to start by just opening up the file and making sure that all of our references look good and it's like nothing's missing and uh, everything's uh, unsuppressed or you know, in, at least in the state that we left it. Then we're gonna go out to Windows Explorer. We're gonna just look at these files. I just wanted to show you that uh, these files actually exist in multiple locations. So I've got this assembly that I've already brought in and some of its components that actually live in a different folder inside of the vault. And I can turn on this found in location and I can see that, yeah, that is actually a different location than the folder that I'm in. If I go up to the top, I can go into that folder and show you where those parts live. Now, uh, one of the problems that I have with this particular project is um, I'm gonna put my main assembly up here, but um, those same files actually exist inside of the same folder here. So somebody made a copy of that end table. Uh, so I got two different copies of the parts, which isn't necessarily a problem, but uh, I'm gonna reference the files that are inside of the vault. So I'm just gonna copy the top level assembly. You can easily find that using that shortcut that I just listed there, and we're just gonna paste it inside of the vault. With it selected, we're just going to go up to Tools and Update References. And we can see all the references are outside of the vault, except for the top level symbol we just added. And we're just going to select all the files. If you don't click on anything, you can uh, just hit the search. Um, if you do, you can just hit Control A to select it all. And then we're going to hit Find Files. And we're just going to search the top level. It should be able to find any of those files that were, at least at this top level, that were missing. And we'll just hit finish that on those to update our references to point to those files that are inside the vault. And if we have an assembly, it's gonna show additional references that were found. So if you're not sure if you search for those or not, you can select them and we could run another search again here. Okay, so now uh, we're sure that those aren't in the vault. We're just gonna go ahead and add these files. I'm just gonna pick the folder that I wanna put them in. Uh, keep in mind, you can move them after the fact if you wanna um, check them in and then you can move them wherever you'd like. Okay, we can just add those. And then we're gonna select um, the new references that are showing. And we're gonna search for those because they could have just been added in that last add. There we go, we found a couple. So we're going to add these additional files here that are missing. And then we're just going to go through that process over and over again here until we uh, don't have any more missing references. Once they're all done, we can hit update. And we're going to check in the files. Make sure in, if there's any files that say that they're outside of PDM, you want to go back and check that. Um, update tool and see if we can get those all inside of the vault. Fix any typos you might have and check in your comment with all your files. If you don't see the files, you can do your refresh and I'll update Windows Explorer for you so you can see all your files. Now that they're checked in, you could move them wherever you'd like, but I would recommend you open them up first and uh, just verify that everything looks like it was uh, when it was located outside in Windows Explorer. And, uh, we're just going to verify that everything looks good and hopefully everything does. And I hope this helps you guys to bring things in from Windows Explorer into SolidWorks PDM.